What's up everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to find profitable wholesale products using AMZ Analyzer. Stay tuned. That's right. AMZ Analyzer is the software that I use to find profitable wholesale products. It helps me weed through a list, a spreadsheet of products that I get from a company and find which ones are profitable and which ones are not, which ones I should sell, which ones I shouldn't. It really cuts down the time that you have to spend looking for products. And that's what I'm going to show you today, how I go through using AMZ Analyzer and how you can use it as well to find profitable products to sell online. Before we get started, please go ahead and down below, click on the subscribe button and then click on that little bell that pops up to make sure you get more videos just like this because I'm sharing my entrepreneur adventure, my Amazon wholesale business and private label business with you, what I do, how I do it, so that you can do the same thing and empower you to become an entrepreneur and get the life, build the life that you really want. So click subscribe, click the little bell. Also, down below there's a link for you to get AMZ Analyzer. It is an affiliate link and if you buy through that link, I will get a small cut of that sale at no additional cost to you and it helps me create more videos like this for free for you. So if you do that, that'd be awesome. If not, then all you have to do is go to amzanalyzer.com and you can download it there and buy it there as well. Now, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do when you open it is go to the settings tab if it's already not there. And on here, you're gonna to have to connect it to your Amazon account. And the way you do that is get a seller ID, AWS access key, and a secret key, and then also your product advertising API credentials and AWS secrets. If you're just getting started, you probably don't know how to do that. Down below, I'm gonna put a link that's gonna show you exactly how to get that information for the program. So check that out if you're not sure how to get that information. The second thing you're gonna to wanna to do under processing options, check this number of reviews and ratings. And what that's gonna do is in addition to just getting the price and the title of the product, it's also gonna grab the number of reviews that the product has and the rating of those reviews. It really slows down the processing. As it says here, it can be up to 20 times slower, but I really like having that information because it helps me determine how well a product sells. Because while sales rank that Amazon gives you is a good indication, it's not the be all end all. And then for some categories, that number is not correct. So then you have to look at reviews and that really gives you an even better idea how well that product is selling. I also like detailed information for listings. So it grabs all the extra information about the listing uh, that you're gonna need, like the number of sellers, manufacturer fulfilled, FBA sellers there are, et cetera, et cetera. I check, is Amazon selling? Because if Amazon is selling a product, I don't wanna compete with Amazon because Amazon does not play fairly like other sellers do. When you're competing against other sellers that are not Amazon, you get to share the buy box and things like that. But when you're competing against Amazon, Amazon doesn't play fair. They just put themselves in the buy box unless you're significantly lower price. And by that point, there's usually not any profit. So I check this box, is Amazon selling? Because that way I can eliminate those products from the equation and not even look at the ones that Amazon's selling. The last tab over here is your license. When you buy the software, they're gonna email you a license. You're gonna dump it in here and then click activate. It should activate your software so that you can use it and find the products that are profitable to buy on Amazon. All right, so once you're done with that, the program is set up, ready to go and working. We're gonna click on run by file. This is the main tab where you're gonna do all the work, enter the information that Amazon 
or I'm sorry, AMZ Analyzer is gonna use to match products on Amazon for you. So the first and main option that I use is this select product input file. So when you're talking with wholesale suppliers, they're usually gonna be able to supply you with a spreadsheet list of their product. And to run it through AMZ Analyzer, that spreadsheet is gonna to have to have a column that has UPC and a column that says the wholesale price or has the wholesale price list. Um, you may have to ask suppliers for that information. Some of them will give it to you right up front. Sometimes you'll have to ask for it. Others will have to create it for you. Um, but you'll wanna get that information so you can easily check it on Amazon. So. Let's go ahead and enter a price sheet that I received from a supplier and see how the products look on Amazon. So I'm gonna click this select product input file and I'm gonna select my catalog here. Now, before I open an AMZ analyzer, I'm just gonna open this in my spreadsheet program so that you can see how I have this laid out. All right, so here is the spreadsheet. As you can see, I have a column here called UPC code, and then I have a column over here for the base price, which in this case is the wholesale price. So those are the two columns that I need. Now one tip, um, make sure there are no additional columns above the very first column. Let me scroll all the way back to the top here. The first column has to be or the first row has to be the column titles. So in this case it is. If you have anything above it, just go ahead and delete those rows that are above it so that that column with the names of the columns are in the very first row so that AMZ Analyzer can grab those and we can select from those in the program. Now if we jump back to the program here and I select that catalog and hit open, You'll see here that it automatically grabbed some information here. It tries to guess which columns are gonna contain the UPC and which ones are gonna contain the wholesale cost. So in this case, it did get them correct. It grabbed the UPC code and the base price, which I just showed you. If it didn't, you can click these drop downs and select the proper column that has the information. Um, the product ID column is gonna be your UPC code, or it could be also your ISDN numbers if it's booked. So select the right column there, and then the cost column is the price that you're gonna have to pay to buy the product, because it's gonna calculate what the estimated profit is going to be for selling those items on Amazon. In this case, it did select the right one. Um, now this drop down here, if you wanted to, there's alternate ways to search. As I already said, the ISBN, I said ISDN, it's ISBN for books. You'd have to select that here to get the ISBN for it to recognize that that's what those are. Um, you can also search by ASIN. So if you have a list of products that already have the ASIN specified, you could select that column and pair it up to the listings on Amazon and pull all the information that way as well. But we're gonna leave it on UPC because that is what we're using. Um, I have this checkbox has headers. Those are, is that, those are that first row that we talked about. Um, if you didn't have that, you could uncheck this and just find it manually. Um, but most of the time you're gonna have those headers. If they don't have the headers, I usually put them in so I know which column I'm looking for. And once you've got that there, you're just gonna hit this run button. Um, but before I do that, if for some reason nothing shows up in here, then something is wrong with that first column. You need to take a look at it, make sure those titles are in the first column. Um, otherwise it's not gonna be pulled in. Uh, also occasionally you might get an error message that says there's duplicate columns. And so you're gonna to wanna to go into the spreadsheet and one of those columns has the same name as one of the other ones. So you're gonna to have to change one of the names because they all have to be unique uh, for it to pull in the information. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and click run. And you can see over here on the right, it immediately pulls in all the listings from the spreadsheet and they're in a queue 
and you can see what it's doing over here. It's matching them with Amazon. It's analyzing offers, getting the detailed product information, review and rating information, and the FBA fee calculations. And so far, it's completed eight of them. So it's gonna go through. Um, it takes a little time, depending on how big of a list you have. So let's wait until this is done, and then we'll go ahead and take a look at the results. Okay, so now it has completed. All of the products were found in Amazon. So the next step after that has completed is to click on the results tab, which is where we're gonna be able to see all of the information about the products that were found on Amazon. Now you can go ahead and just look at everything right in here. It's got everything listed, the ASIN, title, Amazon link, if it's sold by Amazon or not, um, the category, which is called the product group here. We've got a sales rank, number of reviews, the rating, purchase price, which this is your wholesale price that we selected earlier, how much the current buy box is at, the low new manufacturer price, um, and then this is the price that they're going to use to estimate the fees, your referral fee, and some fulfillment information. The fulfillment subtotal, that is the fee that Amazon's going to charge to ship out your item for you. Um, this is your cost subtotal, so that's going to be the referral fee, which is basically like Amazon's advertising fee that they charge you for being able to sell products on their platform plus the fulfillment fee, the shipment of the product. Margin impact right here, that is basically what's left over after you take the sales price and subtract out the fees. The inbound shipping estimate, that is basically an estimate of how much it will cost to send this product into Amazon when you're, you get it at your warehouse or your house put it in your own box and then send it into Amazon. And this column, it calculates this information right up above here. So there's a few spots that you're gonna to wanna to enter some information. Tax on sourcing is if you have any tax on buying the product. Um, I do not, and hopefully you do not either. If you have a registered business, you should be getting all of these products tax free. The prep fee is the cost that it costs you to bring in all the products and send products out. So if you pay someone to do that, you can estimate that price per item and put that number here to get an idea on uh, how much that's going to cost and weigh in on the profit level. And then the inbound shipping. This is how much it costs you to send each pound into Amazon. Uh, I have 10 cents in here. That's probably a little low, but it depends on how much you're actually sending. I can send a 50 pound box to some places for 10 bucks, depending on which fulfillment center it goes to. So it all depends. And then if you're sending pallets, that number is gonna go even lower. So estimate how much you're paying per pound for shipping, put that number here and it adds that number in if it's able to. You see here this one is unable to which means it probably does not have the proper weight or it wasn't able to find the proper weight to calculate the shipping. All right now these columns the most important ones here profit in dollars and your profit as a percent or your return on investment how much money you're making based on how much you had to spend to buy that product. Now in this column, for myself, I go for at least $4 in profit and 40% return on investment. Um, now those are guidelines. I will occasionally go down to maybe two or $3 and down to 20% return on investment if the volume is there to make up for it and make it worthwhile um, doing that. Um, the rest of the columns here, just some informational stuff, product weight, packaging height, length, width, quantity in the package, 
total offers that are on the listing. So how many people are currently selling that product. Um, new FBA, fulfilled by Amazon offers, and then brand new manufactured fulfilled offers on the listing. And then it's got a couple links to Keepa and Camel for checking out the listings. Um, and if you're not familiar with Keepa and Camel, I will put a link down in the description for more information to a video about utilizing those to find out more information on product. They're very helpful. And the rest of the information is just the rest of the columns pulled from the spreadsheet uh, that were not the UPC or the wholesale price that we bought the product for. So that is it on the columns. Now you can play with that in here or what I prefer to do is export and you can export it right over here with the export button into the Excel into an Excel spreadsheet that you can open up and play with there which I find easier to do. Now before we move on a couple other quick things um, if you're fulfilling by merchant you could select that here I fulfill everything by Amazon, so I ship everything into Amazon and they send the individual products for me. Um, and then over here, you can select some different views. Like if we click consolidated, um, it strips out some of the columns. It doesn't include the extra columns from the spreadsheet. And then potential winners view it will actually narrow down and you can see it right down below here this filter um, sales rank is not blank and sales rank is less than or equal to 100,000 and a profit is greater than or equal to four dollars and return on investment is greater than or equal to 30 percent and you can click this edit filter here if you want to change those numbers to whatever you're looking for and now it's actually narrowed down the products so that we're looking at only the ones that uh, meet the criteria that we're looking for I like to export it into a spreadsheet because I have a little more control because it's always not completely 100% accurate on these numbers and I'll show you what I mean here so let's switch back to full and I'm gonna export this and I like to just start with AMZ products and it's going to dump that out to an Excel spreadsheet and I'm going to go ahead and open that up okay so here we are now I have it open in my spreadsheet program first thing I do is I shrink down all of my columns here so that I can see the return on investment so I select all of these columns and then I do column width and make it much smaller so now I have everything on the same screen here and I can see the information right on the same screen that I need I'm gonna make that a little bit bigger for you guys so you can see that a little better alright there you go so now I like to just expand the title a little bit so that I can see what the product is and then expand the category and maybe the sales out just a little bit so I can see those numbers alright so now I like to filter in here what I like to do is filter this column so that it is not showing one or not sold by Amazon so in this spreadsheet zero is false one is true um, so I do not want it to be sold by Amazon so I'm gonna uncheck that if you're using Microsoft Excel it's gonna be a little different I'm using LibreOffice it's a free version of uh, Microsoft Office basically next I am going to filter this column the profit column I want it to be greater than two dollars and I want the return on investment to be greater than 20% which is 0 0.20 20% 20 
and I'm going to hit OK. All right, so now I've narrowed it down to profitable products that are going to make me more than 20% and more than $2. And I do $2 because I like to see the ones that are a little lower than the $4 minimum to check the price. I can see if the price fluctuates. Maybe it's at an all-time low right now and normally it's higher or something like that. And from here, I'm going to go ahead and sort by sales rank because we want to buy products that are fast selling. Now this very first product, remember I mentioned before that sales rank is not always accurate. This first product, it's like, holy cow, it's got a sales rank of 3,000, so it's selling like crazy. I can buy it for $10. The buy box is $92. I'd make a profit of $17.81. Sounds awesome. Same with this next one, right? Profit of 20 bucks. Sounds awesome. But if you look at the category here, the product group, you see these minus signs and greater than or less than symbols. That means it's a subcategory. It's not the top category. So this is where the uh, number ratings really come into play. Um, because I can see here that this product has no reviews and no rating, so therefore it really doesn't sell that much. Now if you really want to verify it, you can click over to it and it's going to open up that product on Amazon for us. And you can just make sure this is a armor spray for $92, obviously not the price that this should be at. Um, no reviews and it's fulfilled by merchant you can see it's shipped and sold by sell logic so definitely not selling anything here if we jump back to the spreadsheet unfortunately all of these are not really showing very many reviews at the high sales rank so this supplier does not have very many good products for me to sell but the next step that I would do here is sort by reviews and sort descending. All right, so the best product here, unfortunately, only has three reviews. So this is not a very good supplier that I'm going to want to work with. But I'm going to keep going through this just so you can see my process. So let's pretend that this sales rank is better. Let's pretend this sales rank is in... Uh, 20,000. So what I would do is click over to the product just to make sure that everything looks good. Now if this product was actually selling at 20,000 and it's shipped and sold by International Health or Internatural Health, Merchant Fulfilled, I know that I could get this product in fulfilled by Amazon and take over the buy box and sell a lot of this product and that's exactly what I would do. Now I use a tool called Jungle Scout and if I click on Jungle Scout here which is a Chrome extension that you can buy it's gonna give me an idea how many sales per month this product is getting. Now the sales rank is 619,000 on this actually, so it's only getting five sales. Now if I bought this product, sent it in, I could get five sales and I'd make a little bit of money off of this. Um, let's see, it's $3.66 profit. Um, so it's not much, you know, 15 bucks, 20 bucks. Um, but it's something that I could do if I really wanted to get a product in there. But Back to pretending this at a higher sales rank, this would tell me um, how many sales I can estimate that that product would have. Now, I like to keep in stock about 30 days worth of product. So what you'd wanna do, let's say this was selling 500. What I would wanna do is look at how many sellers there are. There's two sellers. And if I go to the sellers here, I'd want to see how many people are actually in the buy box or close to the buy box. 
In this case, we've got one selling it for $14 plus $6.45 shipping, and then $21. So let's just take a look at our calculator here. 20.44, and uh, you want to consider anyone within 1% of the buy box price as being a competition. So let's see what 1% would be. So if I times that by 1.01, .01, which is 101%, I can see within 1% would be $20.64. So this person is not within competition of the buy box. Now, you would only wanna do this with fulfilled by Amazon. These are both fulfilled by merchant, so in reality, they wouldn't matter at all. But if these were both fulfilled by Amazon, this person would not be in contention for the buy box necessarily, so I would not consider them a threat to take over the buy box. So I would probably be sharing the buy box with this one person here. So however many items this product sells per month, I'm gonna go back so we can bring up Jungle Scout again. However many products this sells per month, I would divide that by the number of sellers in contention for the buy box plus myself. So in this case, it's one plus myself, which is two. So I can estimate that in this product, I would get two to three sales for it per month. Okay, now the next thing that I would check on this is over on Keepa. So let's go to Keepa.com which is a website that tracks the pricing of products for you. And if we paste in the website address that I just copied from here and search, we can see what the average price has been. So we can see for, if we change this to three months, the last three months, the price has pretty much been the same at the $13.99. If we go out a year, we can see it was a little bit lower um, than that previously, but it's been pretty steady. And the most important thing is Amazon has never been on this listing. If Amazon had been on this listing, it would show orange sections here for when Amazon was selling. So that way we know Amazon has not carried this. More than likely, they won't be carrying it in the future. We can safely buy this product, send it in, and sell it, and we're not gonna have to run into competition from Amazon. The other really cool website is Camel, Camel, Camel. And if we paste that website address URL in here, this one gives us a price history as well, but I like to use Keepa for that. It seems to be more accurate. But what I use Camel for is the sales rank history. So this tells us what the average sales rank has been over the history. So you can see this product has peaked at 123,000. Now if I narrow this down to one month, or let's go out three months, every time this goes up, we can consider that at least one sale. So according to Camel, 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 in the last three months, this item has gotten one sale. If we go out six months, it's gotten one, two, these are all downs, three sales in the last six months. So Camel 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 gives you an idea of how many sales because just like Jungle Scout, Jungle Scout is estimating this sales off of if this sales rank was this rank for the entire 30 days. Now the sales rank, especially on products this far down, are going all over the place. So it's just an average. So you wanna kinda of compare that with Camel 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 to see how many sales it's actually getting to get a better idea for how many sales the product is getting every month. <clears throat> All right, so we'll jump back to our products and 
that is pretty much it as far as looking for product. This supplier unfortunately did not have anything good, but you can see how AMZ Analyzer is able to find and narrow down the products really quickly. This supplier had 500 products. Can you imagine having to go through everyone manually and finding it on Amazon and getting the information to determine if it's going to be profitable or not? AMZ Analyzer cuts that down into minutes to be able to figure out which products are profitable. So that is AMZ Analyzer in a nutshell and how I use it to find profitable products. Right now I'm selling over $45,000 a month and I've used AMZ Analyzer to find those good products to sell on Amazon. So like I said before, there's an affiliate link for AMZ Analyzer down in the description. Go ahead and buy through that link, that would be awesome. I'll get a little cut of that and help me make more videos like this for free for you to help you find more profitable products and sell on Amazon. I really appreciate you watching the video. Subscribe down below or go ahead and click right here to subscribe to the channel. Check out more awesome videos right here and keep on keeping on in this entrepreneur adventure. Happy selling everybody.